Hi everybody, George from Painful Revolution. I'm here with Ed from Azoda, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the KPC. Ed? All right, so for this year we have our KPC. This will be replacing our KP2. Um, some of the big notable features over our KP2 will be a screw lock feed neck for this year. We also have a 14 inch, 0.685 barrel, multi-phase tone. We've also changed all the guide rods to stainless steel. We also have a thicker stainless steel uh, pump rod, at the very top. We also have two O-rings on the bolt, just like our KP3. Should help with air efficiency. We also have a preset feather regulators set to 250 psi. It's a half block design like our KP3 and shares all the same lower internals, including the zero cup seal. Stainless steel hose along with uh, our newly designed ASA and the marker is compatible with CO2 and HPA. Thank you guys. That's excellent. Um, is, is there any, any notable um, uh, performance increases? Like uh, you, you said that it's it's a little bit more efficient. Yes. Um, do, you, do you know by how much, you know, just rough ballpark? Not the moment, we're still testing for efficiency, but okay. we, like I said before, we were able to drop the pressure to 250 PSI. Excellent. So it's operating in the same line as our KP3. Um, if you guys remember, our KP2 was at 300 PSI, so we dropped it quite a bit. <laughs> okay. So it, is it safe to say that it's probably got a little bit of a quieter shot? Yes. We okay. definitely say it is going to be a much quieter shooter. And we also, instead of going for the, the triad system that we have, we, you know, we have a real barrel on here, 0.685. Excellent. Um, so changing the, changing the barrel sizes, is that? Uh, this one is actually a single piece, 14 inch. Okay. Um, but it is compatible with our uh, two piece, 14 inch, that comes in a 0.685. Excellent. Um, in terms of tech? Is if, if somebody's already familiar with the with the K, uh, KP3, mm -hmm. taking the KPC should be the same be thing. Exactly the same. Same O-rings. Yeah, same, same O-rings. Um, same valve. Same striker, along with the springs in the back. Um, the only difference is going to be the regulator, um, but that that's a very simple design. Once you pop it open, there's only two pieces in there: a spring and a piston. That's it. Excellent, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, excellent. So um, it definitely feels good. Um, yeah. So. There you go. There you go, guys. Uh, basically, if you're already shooting the the KP the KP3, the KPC should just be a, a nice little upgrade for you. Uh, as Ed said, it's going to be a more air efficient, smoother shot, a little bit quieter, and it's basically everything you already know about the KP3. It just feels it feels a little bit lighter. Did you guys take some weight out of it? Uh, we didn't take. Uh, no, we didn't take any weight okay. out of it. It just. I got like stronger this morning then. Yeah. Then you, there right. you go. <laughs> the other marker we have this year is going to be our Chaos 2. It's our upgrade over our original Chaos. Uh, some notable features are going to be our screw lock feed neck, our 45 degree angle gas through grip, uh, slimmed ASA, along with our 12 inch multi phase hone barrel. These are done on our new machine, so they should have a lot smoother finish compared to the previous model. Stainless steel hose also as well, so it should be compatible with CO2 and HPA. Uh, shares the same internals as last year, so all, all the parts that you have from last year are going to be compatible with this as well. Excellent, excellent, very exciting. Our upgrade over the Blitz 2. Um, most notable features on this particular marker versus the old one is the preset feather regulator, which is set to 450 psi. Smooth, reliable design for compatibility with HPA and CO2. Screw lock feed neck, 12 inch multi phase hone barrel, stainless steel line. Um, shares the same electronics as the Blitz 2, the four firing modes. We also went to a composite trigger frame, which has allowed us to shave off about 15% of the weight off the Blitz 2. So it's an extremely light gun, very fast, easy to maneuver. <laughs> so uh, thank you very much, Ed. We appreciate your time. No problem. So uh, take, take a look at our channel, guys, paintballrevolution.com, as well as our social media. Uh, we're going to be posting a lot more all day. Uh, stay tuned. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ed. Thank you, guys.